Hi, today we are going to do a final photo editing project of um, your best work. So I would like you to pick three pictures of your best work. Now, some of the things we've done, um, we've done the deer where we changed the brightness and the contrast. Um, and then we've done pic old pictures of me where we kind of did some photo restoration. And those are nice, but they're not what I want you to use. Um, we also did the cat, but everybody had the same, had this basically had the same project, so I don't want that either. But what I would like is some of the other things you've done, like you've done your own dollar bill, um, you've done some other pictures, and I would like you to pick some of the other pictures that you have. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go into Pixlr and we're going to create a new image. And why don't we just call this collage? Now I'm going to bring in three pictures that I've saved from another student's work. So file, open image. And mine went to my desktop. Yours probably might have gone to your downloads, depending on how you have saved them. And let me open up the last image. Okay, so you have your three images so far. So I'm going to come in here and use the marquee tool, select it, and then use the move tool and bring that over. You want to fit three pictures and your name on there, so we'll need to resize that. So I'll go edit, free transform, and I will size that. And I'll apply it, yes. And then you'll want to bring in your next one again, grab the marquee tool, click on the move tool and bring it over and just find the best place for it that you think looks good and then the last one here is a logo that somebody created so I'll get the marquee tool and then the move tool and then over here notice that you have different layers so you have to make sure you're in this um, right layer so right now I am working with the dollar bill and I think I will make that bigger. So I'll say edit, free transform, and make it bigger and hit return. And then I'll go back to this one here which is on layer three and I'll say edit, free transform, and hit return. Notice how it comes over on this one so let's see if we can move these layers. Okay, so if you move the layers, it'll move it so that this one is on top and then this one's on the bottom. And I just did it by switching the order of the layers right here. All right, so we have this right here. We need to try to make the, the image or the final product, we need to make it a smaller storage size. So one way to do that would be to come in and go to Layer and then say Flatten Image or you could try merge down and you're going to need your name. You can make any changes to your name that you like. You can change the color, you can change the font, so just make it how you would like it and then you'll select OK and OK. Alright, so now that you have all three images on here, you're going to say File and Save and say OK and save. Now these are going to be printed on photo paper and so you need to ask me to make sure that I have photo paper in the printer and to open it now you have to go to the finder and it probably went in your downloads actually mine went on my desktop and then click on it and it's going to open in a program that is actually on your computer called preview so here it is, and then we'll say File, Print, and then notice that it takes up the whole paper, which is good, and then click on Print. Now listen, it's going to take a while to print these pages. It will take a while to print, so you're just going to have to be patient, and then at the end what I would like you to do is we're going to mount this on black paper so that we can put it out in the hallways. So I hope you enjoy this project. 
And also at the very end too, why don't you go ahead and put this in your Weebly website as a final project for your photo editing site. Thanks.